Hello. So, let me tell you about the time I've had. Uh, number one, I did play the DLC for, um, for a little to the left. And that was my original plan for uploading something on this Friday. Uh, but then I ran into a little problem. Well, a couple little problems. Number one, it was two hours long. It was not a short little, uh, bonus content sort of thing. It took me a while. Um, and that was a bit beefy for a, uh, for an upload. So I thought, okay, I'll just kind of, uh, I'll just kind of edit that down. And I'll make it a little bit more manageable. And that would have been fine. Except, um, yeah, the, uh, the... The download kept failing. The render kept failing on my edited version. It just got to like a halfway point every time I tried to render it. And it went, ah, nope, failed. Can't do it. Can't do it. So I went, okay, um, plan B. I've got this game. I like this game. It's nice, it's calm, it's easy going. I can just make a little, uh, I can just make a little video out of it and just figure out what the heck I'm gonna do with the cupboards and drawers thing uh, at a different time. And that was going just fine. You know, I was, I don't know, maybe 45 minutes, uh, not quite an hour into playing a session of this. It was going really well. I had a lot of uh, tiles down, a lot of stuff was lined up. It was going, it was good. Um, and then, oh boy, and then my sister knocked on the door. So I went to mute my microphone. My microphone was not on. My microphone was not even plugged in. You'd think that I would notice this because my microphone glows and is right next to my face for most of these. But no, I did not notice. And so I played that hour or so of this game with absolutely no sound. Just just rambling into nothingness. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, now I'm starting over trying again. This time I've got my mic going. This time I've got my recording going. I double checked. But yeah, that's the... That's the kind of time that I am currently having. Um, anyhow, it's it's not the worst, but uh, could have been better. That's all. So this is something called Dwarf Romantic. <laughs> all that out of the way, uh, and it is just a nice, calm, easygoing little game. Uh, where you are placing tiles to just kind of expand a landscape. You get a randomized deck of them on this side over here. And that is basically how long you have left in your game. Every time you complete one of these little uh, quests that can pop up, you get more tiles in your stack. So you are really trying to uh, capitalize as much as possible on finishing, oh dear, oh dear, I could be in trouble. Uh, finishing these quests, I'm gonna need a heavy tree lot in order to finish that because nothing could go here without there being a river on it. I might have messed up a little bit. Anyhow. Yeah, see? Okay. Where else are you still open? Uh oh at this end. Uh, however, that'll close that, so I'm gonna prioritize it. Um, that'll do. There we go. Yeah, and see, now we're up to a stack of 71 tiles. Now, uh, you'd think these farms would be good to put here for points value, but no, I need to close this big field, and so I need something that closes that. This opens up two more tile slots for it, so that would be a bad idea. I'm just gonna put that there. Need something with 10? Uh, yeah, there we go. Brings it down to 4+. So, yeah. Um, I think I spent so long talking about it in my first attempt at playing this and sharing it that I now don't know what else to say. Uh, a little bit unfortunate. 
but I guess that's just the kind of time I'm having. So we are just gonna continue and see where this takes us. There we go. Beautiful. I love it when you can complete a circuit like that. There we go. And you can see we've got uh, one of our little, little tugboats running around here. We've got the fields continuing there. There we go. Two plus and it's done. Now, ideally, I'd love to get a train track section that connects both straight and to the side. Because this little building right here in the middle of the water is actually a kind of train station. Uh, it is valid tile for both the water and for the train. Um, so it can, con it can continue off of both or either of those. And while I don't need to hook a train up to it, that would be satisfying. For right now, though, I have this train piece and that's going to go there. Okay, so this could be a problem. Yep. So this set of houses wants 12 more precisely. I cannot hook it onto this without failing completely because there's a lot more houses in this continuous lineup than 12. So I'm going to put it over here with these three and just build something new from there. So we'll just continue that. I don't really want to expand uh, that farmland too much. Because there is such a thing in this game as doing too much of a thing. Because the more you do, the higher those quest numbers are going to get in the future. Oh, you want to be closed off? Okay, I can just do that. Easy. Uh, but that does just... Uh, it just adds a certain amount of... Um, tactical decision-making, I guess. Because if the numbers get too crazy on the quests, then quite frankly, fulfilling them is going to start becoming uh, more and more untenable. Okay, this needs precisely two in order to finish, and I probably should have just put those little singleton uh, houses on those. That needs precisely five. That's not going to work. Nope, that's too many. I'm going to have to start anew on probably that and just kind of continue off from there. Okay. See, we're already up to a forest of like 76 plus. So we're going to have to be a little bit careful with uh, some of those. Okay, let's uh, put one there. That's not going to work. I've got four in that, so that'll go up here. Uh, I've got something that needs a river, so we'll do that. Mm, those trees aren't going to help us when the field is too small. That's a four, so it goes there. Ha ha ha. Um, yeah, I think we'll go this way. Ah, that'll finish that. And now I'm going to need to close off everything that could contain a, uh, a house border. So that's just going to continue there. Um, trees. Got more houses up here to finish that. More to finish that. That's fine. Unfortunately, that's opened up to that now. Okay, what else have I got? I've got something that has to be a train track and something that has to be a river, so that is a little unfortunate. Yeah, because it's those two spots. Okay, what are my other options here? I'll just put one there. Oh, there we go, train track. Uh, oh, but that continued it out there. That's okay, I'm just going to put a field there, I think. Um... And then I need a river piece in order to close that off, and it needs to be the, just the right shape. So we're just going to continue on with what I have. I'll put that there. And I'll put that there. And that'll do. That'll finish that. We'll continue that one. We've got two uh, river quests. One with two, one both with two. Exactly two. And unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to close them off after that. And that is usually tricky with rivers. Because they can only be closed off by other water pieces. Oh, we've got both a train track and water. Okay. Um, okay, if I can get precisely a little, like, pond or lake piece, that'll finish that. It'll be wonderful. Okay, that one's completed and I need to close it off. Super. Continue that, continue that. Um, <laughs> we'll just kind of bring those off that way. Bring that off that way. I don't 
don't have anything that particularly needs to, uh, I like that. There we go. Oh, and that's a bad idea. That way. Okay. Um, I do need to close off all of these, to be quite honest. So, I should probably just start adding, nope, the uh, train track's too big, so that'll go there. I should probably just go ahead and add random pieces, even though it's not uh, the best thing for your point values. Ooh, yes. There we go. What else? All the outside pieces. Okay. That's alright. We're just gonna kind of complete things as we go along. Um, da -da -da -da. Yes. Yes, I do think so. Unfortunately, now we need a train track piece in order to close off the last remaining open tile edge on that. Um, can't put anything there. I need a pond, but that's coming up in two more tiles. So we're just going to continue to snake this around. I think that way. And then that closes that. Nice. Which gives us more tiles to work with. Okay, that's going to be a forest quest and it's going to be a fairly big one. I don't think that's going to give me enough room. That might be the direction to go way out there. So we will just continue this. Quite frankly, that would do it. So I'll take it. Put that there. A little bit of closure. Uh, we continue this, continue this, because we need trains. Continue that. Uh, 72 plus houses. Now, putting it there will continue that. Uh, it'll also make the next house quest that much larger. Unfortunately, I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's see. I think that. Windmill with a quest attached. Just continue out in random directions. Because the further we explore outward, the more likely we are to come upon a uh, neat little quest tile like that. So that's a special one. That's a special quest tile. It's usually fairly big and uh, gives some bonus rewards for completing it. Put that there. Why not? We're just going to continue to stretch this out as far as possible just to see what we can see. Let's see now. Put that there. Uh, you need 10 water tiles and no more, so we're just gonna put you here and start building you out that way. You need two more of these. You need water. Water goes here. Water continues to go here. So yeah. It is a, uh, again, it's a fairly easy-going little game. Um, there are some different modes, so if you want a really fast mode, uh, there's the version that they put out as a demo when they first uh, brought this game out, which is a far more limited tile set. You can't get bonus tiles. You just, you start with what you have and you go until you run out. It is an unfortunate train track piece. Um, there's a creative mode where you are not limited by tile sets. You can pick and choose tiles. You can decide uh, what proportions of tiles you actually want. Or if you want to just build a pretty map and uh, maybe use it for d, d or something. Which, you know, is not an unviable uh, way to use this game if you weren't actually wanting to play it, play it. Um, it's not perfect, you know, you aren't gonna get a uh, great idea of, like, Highlands Lowlands. This doesn't come with any um, mountains or anything like that. But yeah, if you just kind of reimagine the train tracks as just roads or something, then uh, it's not going to be necessarily anachronistic if you just want to get the layout of the thing and work from there. And you can get a lot of very pleasing organic shapes um, by just using this. Just the way that the water uh, rotates and snaps sometimes and connects together. 
Okay, I've got to close off that entire line of forest, and that's going to be interesting. Okay. 99. Okay, that goes up there. For certain. That goes there. Unfortunately, most of my uh, various pieces need to be used to fulfill other quests. So I am going to be prioritizing those, I think. Okay, the 11 cannot go there, so maybe that'll be a good way to start closing off this uh, particular bit of map. We'll just start using that. Okay, so train line is going to run here. I'm just going to kind of continue that because I need... 14 plus of those. Hit that. Hit those. Uh, and that is definitely too much, so this needs 18 and no more. Where am I going to put those? Probably on uh, the other side of this, perhaps. I think so. That'll keep me busy for a little bit, at least. Oh, what else is there to close off? All this over here. Oh, dear. Okay. That's gonna take us a while. And quite frankly, this is one of the things where it might be more valuable just to continue off of it with a larger uh, requirement than to close it completely. Though I do need to close it at some point. I really do. Okay. Continue that. Continue that. Eventually, we're going to find out what that is and what it needs. Um, those are all closed, so I'm just going to continue that off. There we go. Okay. Just keep on going. Train track. All right. Not helpful, so I'm going to put that there. Let's find out what this is. Oh, hey, it's another forest thing. I can just hook those all together and complete them all at once. Okay. Two more on that, which unfortunately means this isn't going to work. Um, and I think that would be a bad move, potentially. Because I need to... I need two in order to... Hmm. I'm not well set up for that. You know what? Let's just continue this way. Unfortunately, I've got three houses on this tile connected, so I'm not going to be able to get the two there. And this one's one, and I've only got one space to put it. So I'm going to need a very precise house tile in order to finish that. Uh, in the meantime, the bulky ones can go up here. Three in a row again. Darn it. All right. Continuing off of this. We'll eventually get there. Bad idea. Maybe. That's four. That'll finish one, but not the other, so that's not gonna work for me. Those. Um. I think this one's in more need right now. Oh, that's not the best. You know what? If I swing that out that way, I have more options in the future. three houses, so that's not going to help me. Yeah, a lot of the time I only get so far either because I am thoughtlessly pus putting things down, or because I lose track of things. I only have eight tiles left in this stack. I don't think this run is going to last much longer. Um, that's okay. This can be a short one. Maybe not. I've got 14 more. I've got a little bit of room to play. Um, I still need to close this thing and it's gotten even more complicated, so I'm just gonna do this. I am gonna put this monstrosity over here and finish that. Get some more. I need, um, 27. Six. Okay. Put that there. Four. One. Okay. Something. We are moving along, little bit at a time. 
I've got to close off these forests and I have to close off these fields. And both of those are going to be absolute nightmares to uh, deal with, but I'm going to do my best. So I'm just going to start a new forest there and probably never finish it, but uh, that's okay. I'm beyond that. It's okay. I'm mostly trying to keep an eye out for two houses in a row that will snap together. Like, this tile has two houses on it. However, if you look, I try and put it there, it's not gonna work. It has to be two houses connected. These two are two houses disconnected. This, however, is two houses connected. And then two more will finish those perfectly and close off that entire loop so that that is fulfilled too. There we go. We've come a long way from eight tiles left. Tell you what. All right, I'm going to use these farms to close off a bit more of this forest area. What's one of the most egregious uh, tiles with two on it? That one. And we're going to continue this going this way. We are going to close that. We are going to continue that. Forest is going to go here. Leave that there. Houses go up here. Just keep on going. Put one there. Okay, this looks like it's not going to be very useful for continuing houses, so I'm just going to close off that. Yeah. Put that there. Once again, it's only two houses. I'm going to just put them here. A uh, bunch of trees. That's a big wad of them. I'm going to put that there. Um, ooh, a blank one. Right there. A whole bunch of houses. Unfortunately, I am, again, in that state where I need to close off or complete far too many quests for the number of tiles I have left. Even if I really, really try. Because this has, what, three more tile spaces I need to close off? Ah, screw it, I'm just gonna do that. No, it's not three more. Where's the last one? I'm hovering over the uh, flag for quest completion, and it's supposed to light up the- up oh, there it is! There's the edge. Okay. Uh, that just barely brought our heads above water. Um, yeah, this is not going to, uh, continue very much longer unless I get really lucky. And, uh, oh, I should have put that- hold on. Undo. I need to put that over here. Is that not part of the same network? It's not. I got lost. Okay. Very lucky and also willing to abuse the undo feature. <laughs> That's what it's here for. Okay. So there's that. There's that. I need to close off that. I need to get more forest going. To be quite honest. Um, got a couple of those, but... Uh, yeah, that'll close that off a little bit. I need to continue forest. 18 plus. Ah, uh, that's gonna be better off down there. There, and better not put that in there because that will just continue it horribly. Um, keep going with the forest, keep going with the forest. I need to close off a field. Oh no. Which one is it? Where is it? Where's the glow? There it is. That gave me five more. <laughs> For what it's worth. Um, unfortunately, I don't think that most of these are going to be very useful because that is far too large a uh, forest requirement. 69 more trees. I don't think we're getting that in one tile. Um, yeah, no. And with that, the game comes to an end. So, that was the score I got, and you get scores uh, by basically placing uh, tile edges against matching tile edges. Uh, bonuses for perfect placements, which is when every single tile edge is against its match. Um, things like that, bonuses for completing quests, things like that. Uh, I have no idea how people get so high on the leaderboard. My high score is right around there. I, I've never gotten to 19,000, never mind 93,000. Um, but yeah, yeah. 
You can turn the UI on and off. You can continue a thing in creative mode if you really like the direction something's going and you just want to keep on going with it. Uh, but other than that... Yeah, took about 25 minutes. Got 10 perfect placements, got 41 quests fulfilled, and 11 flag quests, which are the close this uh, particular set of things off. Placed 300 tiles, 312 tiles, so... Yep. So that's Dwarf Romantic. Uh, it's a fun little game, and I think I'm planning on this Sunday trying to stream something similar, but which came out a bit more recently and has some slightly different mechanics. So... Uh, we'll, we will see how that goes. So until then, you have a good one.